Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild running on the Nintendo Switch. So, we were got a, we had a few scenarios that we were allowed to see on the Nintendo Switch preview event in New York uh, pretty recently. Uh, and this one here is going to be all about how to catch a wild horse, tame it, and then add it to your stable. Now, a full disclaimer, I am not the one actually playing this. All of the direct feed footage that you're going to be seeing is a Nintendo representative playing for people. So this is a hands-off demo, which sucks. But this is still a real-time demo being played by a Nintendo representative. As soon as she lands here, I told her to kill this fox and eat it. She would not. But anywho, so the way that everything starts off is uh, Link just left the opening plateau. And all the other gameplay stuff that you've seen from E3, that was all in that opening plateau. So this is the first game footage I've seen where it's actually leaving that area and happening. There's a bow cobbling camp up here. It's totally botched that shot. And then Critical hits him in the head to take him out. I'm trying to stay in stealth at the moment. She is playing on the Switch Pro Controller, which is extremely comfortable and I like it a lot. But even on the Pro Controller, she still has the gyro sensor motion controls set up for aiming. So if it looks like the aiming is kind of going a little wonky or all over the place, it is because she still has the gyro sensor set up. You can turn that off. You don't have to play with that. Either playing on the tablet or using the uh, Joy-Con grip or the Pro Controller. You can turn all those off. Oh, he's grabbed a... Just set a stick on fire. That was pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. So she's gonna take some time to kill this dude. This is, that's her showing me like, yeah, I'm totally using gyro sensors. Isn't it crazy and weird? And I'm like, yeah, turn it off, please. Hooray! So I'm not gonna have a whole lot of interesting stuff to say about this because I'm not the one that's actually playing it. Uh, I will say, it seemed like this demo ran better than the one at E3 and that I saw less frame drops, if at all, while playing this. Like, maybe some of the bomb explosions, maybe. It was hard to say, but it seemed to go for a very solid 30 frames per second. <laughs> she cooked up some sneaky steamed meat, which uh, heals two hearts, and for two and a half minutes, it has a uh, stealth boost. If you look in the lower right-hand corner by the map, you see those purple sound lines? That's how sneaky Link is currently being. So as he's sprinting around, he's being quite loud. So you can eat that meat to help uh, minimize how much noise Link is, make is making. The upper left corner shows your equipment. You can press left on the D-pad to change what would be in your shield slot or your left hand. And the right side will be switching between different weapons. And you press up to switch between your special items. Uh, bombs, the, the new magnet item, etc. I can't uh, really stress enough how gorgeous this game is in, uh, in person. Like, I don't know if videos do it justice, but this game is just beautiful looking. So here are the wild horses. So to help make sure she's able to sneak up on it, she's going to eat her sneaky meat. And you see, it's got the stealth up for a while. She asked me which one she should get. I said that one with the spotted butt. So we're going for this one. The representative did say while sneaking up on the horses, it's better just to stop for a moment while sneaking up on it instead of going right through, because that's supposed to help. I don't know if that's the case. Here's Link currently trying to tame the horse. You can see the different buttons down below, so she's pressing down the elastic to kind of slow him down. But then the L button is the soothe button, where you see Link kind of pat the horse on the side or brush it or whatever. And every now and then it'll make little uh, hearts show up above the horse's head. So there we pretty much got the horse tamed and under our control for the most part. But how well you can control the horse all depends on how much of a bond you have with that horse. There you can see the soothe taking effect again. Checking the map and see where we need to go. Yeah, so as you, uh, all the horses have completely randomized stats. They seem to be different every time. I was watching, uh, the demo stations next to me also doing the horse ones. And it seemed like 
even getting the same horse, he still had completely randomized stats. But you'll, you'll be seeing the stats of the horses in a little bit. There's another soothe action, again, increasing the bond of the horse. I like this jaunty little piano tune. It's not exactly overworld music, but it helps make get to put a little more into the into the environment. What's that stork? Bye, stork! The star on the map is going to be the stables. Which we're, we're, we're currently trying to bring the horse to. I noticed that pinwheel up on the top of that hill. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't believe it denotes where a stable is. I think it's something completely unrelated. But there is a pinwheel there. That's interesting to note. Oh, it's a Korok. I hear him. It's a Korok there. Okay. And down here we made it to the Riverside Stable. The traveling Merchant. And our horse guy. Oh. Welcome to my stable. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about this stable system? His name is Ember. Mm. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. We may come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses, and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? Dude, I'm riding one right now. What is this under yeah. my butt? What is this? Anyway, so there are normal stables throughout the entire world, and you can uh, st uh, stable up to five of them. I don't know if uh, horses run away or if they die or whatever, but so here's the horse stats. The strength, speed, stamina, the temperament, and the overall bond with it. So the soothing was increasing the bond, and the higher bond you have, the more the horse will listen to your directions while actually riding around. I asked if increasing the bond will also increase the horse's stats, like strength or speed. The Nintendo representative says she doesn't know for certain, but she does not think that to be the case. So, and I believe the, uh, the temperament gives an indication how easy it is to soothe it and increase that bond. It costs oh. 20 rupees to stable a horse. This is probably one of the best parts though. Uh, any horse that you catch, you're allowed to name it whatever you want. She asked me uh, what, what we wanted to name the horse and I told her and she was like, what? And I said, put it in. <laughs> I, had to, I had to make sure that she knows how to spell it. She didn't capitalize the S in suck, which aggravates me but you know i figured it's just for the demo i'll get over it anyway so suck it uh p um uh b uh g suck it pbg suck it pbg i played zelda so that's all there really is for the horse demo it just shows you the, how you can uh, catch them soothe them bring them to the stable and register them and allows you to whistle for them wherever they are Ooh. It's not quite, uh, mm. it's not quite Witcher 3 horse where you can just kind of summon it from wherever. So apparently if you, uh, if you get separated and get too far away from the horse, uh, you can't just whistle it back yet. We'll have to go back to the stable to get it. Yeah, there it is. But there you go. That is the brief demo for Breath of the Wild running on the Switch and how to catch a horse. If you want some more Breath of the Wild, be sure to watch this other demo on going through one of the many shrines. And of course, I got plenty of other videos on the Switch, including several of the other games and my overall thoughts. And please, subscribe.